Assalamualaikum. I am Sabikun Nahar, student of seventh semester from English department, BGC Trust University, Bangladesh. We are a group of nine members, including me, Sabikun Nahar, Nahid Akhtar Nila, Sadia Khanum, Shakhat Hussain Imon, Ataul Kurim, Aruf Mia, Rashidul Haq, Shajat Hussain, and Shahidul Islam. We are going to present a documentary on Middle English Literature. Special thanks to our Honorable Mrs. Jebun Nahar ma'am for giving us such an educative task. Let's start our documentary which is on Middle English Literature. Middle English period is from 1100 to 1500. A little bit of history. Norman Conquest happened in 1066 by William the Conqueror. Normans were descendant from Vikings. They spoke a rural dialogue of French, Anglo-Norman or Norman French. After Norman conquest, Anglo-Norman French became the language of the kings and nobility of England for more than 300 years. However, the peasantry and lower classes, 95% continued to speak English. It is this mixture of Old English and Anglo-Norman that is usually referred to as Middle English. The English that was used from 1100 to 1500 is called Middle English. The Norman conquest of England in 1066 traditionally signifies the beginning of 200 years of the domination of French in English letters. Old English literary contains political and ecclesiastical documents. This Middle English literature corresponds to the medieval period. It is divided into four general ages, the early period, the 13th century, the 14th century, and the 15th century. During 1066 to 1500, which was Middle English period, French became the language for the higher circles of society. English is still used by the common people. In 14th century, English became the national language again, but changed. This is a time period in literature known as the Middle English period. It took place between 1066 to 1485. It was near the time of the Hundred Years' War. Its main genres include morality plays and folk ballads. Assalamu alaikum, I am Nahid Akhtar Nila. Now I am talking about Chaucer's characteristic and the important events. The literary writings are in Old English. Middle English requires the constant help of a glossary. Medieval works of literature often center on the inevitability, sadness, change, loss and death, and the vanity of human grandeur. The greatest poet of the time was Geoffrey Chaucer. Chaucer's The Prologue to the Canterbury Tales has been recognized as one of the greatest masterpieces of English literature. The Important Events 1060 The event that began the transition from Old English to Middle English was the Norman Conquest of 1060. 1150 Approximate date of the earliest surviving text in Middle English. 1171 Henry II declares himself overlord of Ireland, introducing Norman, France, and English to the country. About this time, the University of Oxford is founded. 1204 The dialect differences between Anglo Norman and Francian more isolated from continental Europe. Late 13th century, under Edward I, royal authority is consolidated in England and Wales. English becomes the dominant language of all classes. Mid to late 14th century, the Hundred Years' War between England and France leads to the loss of almost all of England's France possessions. 1469, the legend of King Arthur by Thomas Mallory. This manuscript tells the famous legend of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, centering around their quest for the mystical Holy Grail. 1476, the invention of the printing press. The arrival of the printing press is a major step towards a standard writing system and initiates an enormous boom in production of printed resources in English. 
1493-1496 medieval phrasebook. This English French phrasebook gives us a glimpse of every day. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sadia. Now I am talking about edges. The early period poetry is the principal form of literary expression. Several poems in early Middle English are extant and written in Old English. Is interested on linguistic and prosodic purposes rather than literary. During the 13th century, continues in the tradition of Anglo-Saxon prose directed toward ordinary people rather than polite society. The romance and important continental narrative verse forms was introduced in England. The century in the century were certain elements of the Anglo-Saxon heroic tradition. The 14th century, the latter are portion of the 14th century also saw not only the consolidation of English as a written language and a shift to secular writing. William Caxton printed four fifties of his works in English which helped to standardize the language and expand the vocabulary. The 15th century literary work is mostly satiric and combines medieval and renaissance elements. Morality play probably arose in part from the desire of religious writers to teach the principles of Christian. The medieval drama, liturgical plays and mastery plays. Hello listener, I am Muhammad Shakavat Tusin. And today my topic is language translation in Middle English literature. After the Norman conquest, the ruling elite in England were French speakers. Before the conquest, England had been relatively advanced in the extent to which the vernacular's language, rather than Latin, was used in writing. After the conquest, English became forced out of this function almost entirely. Latin predominated in most types of writing in the immediately forced conquest period. When quite soon afterwards, we find a flowering of vernacular writing in a number of different text types and genres. This is in France, not English. Likewise, it was France, not English, that generally bite with Latin in a wide range of technical and official functions until very near the end of the Middle English period. The Old English language means spoken by lower classes. The Latin was used in church and became the academic language of many universities, like Cambridge, Oxford. As a result of Norman conquest, French language became the Romance language for writing in literature. Now, we discuss about language feature of Middle East English. In grammar, English came to rely less on inflectional endings and more on word order to convey grammatical information. The change was gradual and has different outcomes in different regional varieties of Middle English. But the ultimate effects were huge. The grammar of English 1500 century was radically different from that of Old English. Grammatical gender was lost early in Middle English. In vocabulary, English became much more heterogeneous, showing many borrowings from French, Latin, and Scandinavian. Large scale borrowing of new words often had serious consequences for the meanings and the stylistic register of those words which survived from Old English. In phonology, the short vowel development of late Old English Y differed in the various dialects. In orthography, had a fixed word order shifted to a system of prepositional and spelling construction. Thank you so much dear friends. Literary terms. Arthurian romance. Characters ideal types, knightly behavior, strong element of supernatural, magic, and fantasy. Trials of King Arthur, his deeds, court, and knights. 
Sibaldry, system of manners and moral thoughts or practice. Code on how knights should conduct themselves. Code love. Philosophy of love and a code of conduct in love, which was central to chivalry. Drama Sars. Sars Wagons. Seems from Bible or Saint Life by Frist slash Monks. History plays organized by guilds. Morality plays towards and middle ages. Social background. Edward the Compassor. William Rufus Henry II, Harold Godwinson Henry I, William, Duke of Normandy, Stephen de Blois. Characteristics of literary works. Romance as the famous type, very in rhyme, clear and simple style expression. Assalamu alaikum, I am Arpmiya. Now I am telling about the authors. Anonymous, Bacon Roja. 1214 to 1294 Caxton William 1422 to 1491 Saucer Geoffrey 1340 to 1400 Cobadil Miles 4888 to 1569 Gloucester Robert Late 13th century. Gower John 1330 to 1408. Kempf Marjari 1373 to 1439. Lori Sir Thomas 1405 to 1471. Manning Robert 1298 to 1300. 38. Norris Julian of 1342 to 1416. Ockham William of 1285 to 1349. Orem. Tribusha John of 1350 to 1402. Tyndale William. 1492 to 1536 Wycliffe John 1384 Assalamu alaikum I am Rashidul Haq now I am talking about literature Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales John Gower Confession Amentis Sir Gowan and the Green Knight William Langland Pierce the Parliament, Julian of Norwich, Juliana 16, Revelation of Divine Love. One of the most prevalent collections of stories was the Canterbury Tales. This comprised of a collection of books mainly written in verse. It was written by Jeffrey Chaucer. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shajat Hussain. Now I would like to talk about Jeffrey Chaucer. The father of English poetry wrote in the vernacular everyday English has opposite to Latin or French. We can see a translation into modern English by Chaucer on the screen. Now let's move on to Chaucer's prologue. Prologue introduces us to the premise of the story and all the characters, all 30 of them. The host of the Tabardin sets a challenge for all of the pilgrims. The challenge is pilgrim will tell two stories on the way to Canterbury and two on the way back. The pilgrim that tells the best story will be treated to a feast hosted by the other pilgrim. This is Shahidul Islam. I am going to talk about the pilgrims from Canterbury Tales, other words including from the Middle English period and the summary of the Middle English period. The pilgrims. Five ideas Chaucer treats seriously, knight, squire, clerk, 
person, plowman. Some he books fun at priorities, monk, wife of bath. Some is quiet about short portraits with no personal view coming through priorities and turrets. Some not very good. Saucer is just a little negative shipman, principal. Hardened sinners, all of them religious officials, friar, pardoner, summoner. Other words include the doomsday book. This was a record of the great survey. La Monte de Arthur. This means the death of Arthur and is a completion of tells about King Arthur. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. This is a romance written by Pierre Poet. Summary The Middle English period was a time of many major historical events, such as the Hundred Years' War. It was the time of knights and princesses, kings and queens. This is why the literature from this time is so interesting and significant. Mm -hmm.